how to choose good ink for a wall printer. I'll share some tips and tricks about inks for wall printers. Your printer is malfunctioning, leaving streaks and the heads are drying out. And one of the problems is how to make decisions on your own, to search for things by yourself. Hey guys, today's video is for those who have already bought a wall printer and the question arises about inks for wall printers. When you buy a wall printer, you order ink. Over time, the ink runs out or you notice malfunctions like streaks, drying heads and clogged filters. And they come as a set, but time passes, the ink runs out or after certain manipulations with the printer, you realize that your printer is malfunctioning, streaking, the heads are drying out, starting to die, the filters are clogged and you are faced with the question of finding problems with desktop printer. And one of the problems is replacing the ink with better quality. In this video, I'll share some tips and tricks about inks for wall printing. We'll be talking about ultraviolet printing, specifically ultraviolet inks. Many people encounter issues with poor print quality, clogged heads and clogged filters. We're going to talk about ultraviolet printing, specifically ultraviolet inks. Many people face issues with poor print quality, clogged heads and clogged filters. One of the reasons for print heads failing is low quality Chinese inks with streaking and the print heads dying. One of the reasons for print heads failing is low quality Chinese inks. They come in half liter jars of an unknown brand, meaning they're just poured from some large barrels into black jars with a label in Chinese simply UV inks. What am I getting at? Typically, professional printers who do UV printing continuously, they use branded inks such as Nasdaq, Sericol, Fujifilm and other reputable brands. The question arises, should I change my inks? What's the dilemma? Quality inks have a much finer dispersion of the coloring particles compared to cheap ultraviolet inks. Now that we're entering the cold winter period, shipping ultraviolet inks becomes impossible. If you order from China, for example, by air or heaven forbid by sea, your inks will definitely freeze because it's cold now. The inks that arrive will be either separated or partially frozen and they will have clumps. So to avoid this issue, I recommend that you buy, and this is my advice as a professional who deals not only with wall printers, but also with wide format printing using ultraviolet inks. My advice to you is to search online and buy inks locally in your own country. Go to Google, type in ultraviolet ink, specify your city or country and then see what comes up. Typically in any country there are companies that deal with wholesale supplies for professional advertisers and printers and these inks are always kept in a warm warehouse with a current shelf life. For those who are having trouble finding it in their country there's an international website. I'm showing it to you on the screen right now this is digitprintsupplies.com. Here you can find all the spare parts for the wall printer and print heads, cleaning solutions, primers, wipes. So you can find everything here and place your order. For example, you type NASDAR into the search engine and a website popped up that offers UV inks for sale. You have an Epson DX7, DX10, i1600 print head. You go to the website that came up in your search results for your city or country. Come in and see the description and the description indicates the type of heads for which this ink is intended. Since the type of O nozzle, meaning those little holes in the print head, comes in different O diameters, the inks also vary in dispersion. There are inks with larger particle dispersion and others with finer particles, so make sure to read the description carefully. Based on the description, buy and order the inks that are suitable for your print head. I won't provide specific links to universal sites like Alibaba or Aliexpress. That's all impractical. 
I'm here to guide you on how to make decisions independently and search for the inks you need. You can also look for primers for glass printing. So just search for primer for printing. There are also cleaning agents available. Some people from China suggest rinsing with running water, which is just nonsense. Some even use vodka to rinse. Some people from China suggest rinsing with running water, which is just nonsense. Some people rinse with vodka. The print head costs money. The DX7 costs $800, $900. And just rinsing it with water and throwing it away. I think that's an expensive pleasure. So, don't skimp on the primer and don't cut corners on cleaning. Order cleaning agents from specialized websites. And if you're buying inks, they usually have primers and cleaning agents available for order as well. So buy everything in one place. So buy everything in one place.